Obsidian. I just found a piece of obsidian which is really rare around here so it's kind of exciting for all of us to find. We are we've already pulled it out of the ground. We're working on the process of putting it into the computers. So what Owen is doing is putting in, we were in unit F when we found it in the southeast section of the unit and he's going to say that it was in unit F level 15 which is the 10 centimeter section we're working on right now and then tell the computer everything that we know right now about the artifact. This is an overshot flake. It's a piece of CCS debitage. Um, basically, it's a yeah. <laughs> mistake when someone was hammering um, something out. Um, this shot off at the wrong angle and pretty much ruined whatever they were making. So here, I fit the piece on Pretty much how it would have appeared on the original biface. Now we don't know if that's exactly the way the biface looks, but the point is, is that it fits on here. Someone would have struck the edge of this and it would have driven the flake off across and actually taken off the opposite side. So to find overshot flaking at the Cooper's Ferry site, it just simply means that someone either intentionally or mistakenly drove a flake across the surface of a biface and took off the opposite side. So just another little interesting part of understanding the technological behaviors of the people of the past here at the Cooper's Ferry site. Okay, what we got right here is a piece of charcoal found in a level 17, level 16 of LU6, uh, unit G. And it's important because it's useful for radiocarbon dating and we can get a date for the site and specifically this level. Uh, <clears throat> this piece right here is apparently the largest they've found in this site so far. We found um, a mussel shell and um, it's pretty large and pretty much intact. It was in the wall a bit so we had to take it out of there. Um, it's important to the site because if it's large enough we can get um, radiocarbon dates <laughs> from them, and uh, we can also um, test for precipitation levels. What we do is we take a picture of it in its context, um, and then after, and we also uh, map the, uh, the point it's at and get the reading number um, so that they'll know where it's at when they refer back to it in the lab. So what I got here is a broken projectile point made out of uh, green obsidian. Uh, really rare for the area. Most of what we find out here is chert. This is just the tip of it. Uh, broke right around this uh, flat surface right here. You can see ripples coming off from both each side and on the opposite side. And that means it's a biface. It was worked on both sides. Um, those are created by just pressure flaking with an antler or, or a rock. Uh, it was found uh, in LU6, which is around 9,000 years old. Um, we think that it was either broken in manufacture or was broken in use, either by hunting or possible human conflict. <laughs> On my last day here at Cooper's Ferry, I seem to have found something that might be interesting. It looks like it's a uh, femur bone off of a smaller rodent type of animal or a, uh, a rabbit, something like that. And it's in really good shape. It's still got the head, the tubercles, and some condyles on it. And uh, I think it'll be interesting to expose it some more and maybe find out if there are any cut marks along the bone um, and if it was being used. Mm -hmm.